Track 16, Unit 13 Millie's London Diary My Diary Our Visit to Grandmother and Grandfather in London April 1876 by Millie Porter Monday the 21st of April Today, Grandmother took John and me to the toy shop. Mr Jolly owns the toy shop. He is very friendly and he is always smiling. He wears a big white apron. He keeps a pencil and a sharp knife in the apron pockets. He can make anything out of wood. He hums while he is working. Grandmother bought some soldiers for John. They are red and blue and they have black hats. Tuesday, the 22nd of April. This afternoon, we went to see Aunt Sarah. She lives in a big house near the park. On the way, we passed a girl selling flowers. Aunt Sarah loves books, and I do too. Today, I read some poems to her. I like reading to Aunt Sarah. She has a beautiful garden. She showed us her new pond. There wasn't any water in it. The gardener is going to put some water in it tomorrow. Then he is going to put some plants and some fish in it. Wednesday, the 23rd of April. Grandfather's friend, Mr Brown, came to visit today. He has twinkling eyes. He wears a long black coat and he carries a walking stick. He likes games and puzzles. He bought a puzzle for us. It was a box and some shapes. We had to fit the shapes into the box. He told us funny stories about India. He met an Indian prince once. He gave the prince a puzzle and the prince gave him a monkey. Thursday, the 24th of April. Today, we saw the little flower girl again. She was selling her flowers near the park. She had a large basket full of yellow flowers. She often looks unhappy. She has a thin face. She was wearing an old grey coat, but she didn't have any gloves and it was cold today. Grandfather took us for a walk in the park. On the way back, he bought some of her flowers. She smiled. She always smiles when someone buys her flowers. Friday, the 25th of April. A tall policeman often stands at the corner of the street. When we passed him today, he said, Good morning in a deep, gruff voice. Sometimes he walks past the house. He walks slowly with his hands behind his back and he wears big black boots. He has bushy eyebrows and a big moustache. His eyes are friendly and his cheeks are rosy red. His coat has shiny silver buttons down the front. He looks very smart. Track 17, Unit 13, Listening 2. Listen to Millie. How many mistakes did she make? Write the numbers. Number 1. Today, we went to the toy shop. We met Mr Jolly. He's very friendly. He was wearing a long blue apron. Grandmother bought eight toy soldiers for John. They were blue and black and they had red hats. Mr Jolly put them into a box. Number two. I saw the little flower girl today. Her basket was full of pink flowers. They were very pretty. It was a cold day today. She was wearing an old coat and her gloves were old too. She looked a bit sad. Number three. Grandfather's friend, Mr Brown, came to the house. He was wearing a long black coat and he was carrying an umbrella. He was carrying a bag too. Inside, there was a puzzle for us. I like Mr Brown. He's fun. Number four. The policeman was at the corner of the street again. He has big bushy eyebrows and a small moustache. He has big black boots and he walks with his hands in his pockets. He has ten shiny silver buttons on his coat. Track 18, 
Three. Listen again. Correct Millie's mistakes. Number one. Today we went to the toy shop. We met Mr. Jolly. He's very friendly. He was wearing a long blue apron. Grandmother bought eight toy soldiers for John. They were blue and black, and they had red hats. Mr. Jolly put them into a box. Number two. I saw the little flower girl today. Her basket was full of pink flowers. They were very pretty. It was a cold day today. She was wearing an old coat, and her gloves were old too. She looked a bit sad. Number three. Grandfather's friend, Mr. Brown, came to the house. He was wearing a long black coat, and he was carrying an umbrella. He was carrying a bag too. Inside, there was a puzzle for us. I like Mr. Brown. He's fun. Number four. The policeman was at the corner of the street again. He has big, bushy eyebrows and a small moustache. He has big black boots and he walks with his hands in his pockets. He has ten shiny silver buttons on his coat. Track nineteen, four. Listen and sing. Track twenty, Unit thirteen, spelling. When we add un to the beginning of words, we can make opposites. The little flower girl often looks unhappy. Happy, unhappy.